This handsome boy traveled over 12 hours to get to me in the hopes that I could perform a miracle. This is Muggsy, and he's an odd-colored five-year-old Newfoundland dog. His coat is extremely matted, and I definitely have my work cut out for me. He was very reluctant to get into my shower today. Dude. And in his world, we can't see him if he's hiding under the camera tripod. I am bathing Muggsy today in my new shampoo line, Nasty Critter. This shampoo is mildly scented, deep cleaning, and perfect for dogs and cats with sensitive skin. It's soap-free, 100% biodegradable, and my favorite part is its high 50 to 1 dilution rate, making one bottle go a long way. Let me tell you one thing, you're going to take me 500 years. Oh my god. That tail. It's like a solid rock. There's no way this dog's not getting shaved. I will be really surprised if I'm able to brush this dog out. This coat is very thin. It's not thick like your average Newfoundland, but it's just extremely matted. That's nice. So how do you feel about standing? Is standing something that can be accomplished? Come on. Okay, good boy. It became very apparent to me that Muggsy is a poorly bred dog. Although stunning with a great temperament, his coat is not the correct texture or color, and he has some serious issues in his back end for a five-year-old dog. This was a dog bred solely for color and not for health. I gotta rinse your butt. It's going to take me seven days. There is so much leaves coming out of this dog right now. Come here. Come here. Over here. Ignore me? Okay. Like, look at this. Oh my god. I can't. I have no words. I hope this doesn't have to be my next shaved, double-coated dog. But I have some of my doubts here. Look at him. He's like a flat pancake. I bet you've never seen a Newfoundland in this color. Although commonly referred to as champagne or cream, it's actually considered a beige and it is not an accepted color of the breed standard. It is a dilute from brown, and many breeds with color dilution can be more prone to color dilution alopecia. That's why it is especially important to prevent shaving a dog with these coat colors, as the coat may or may not ever grow back. Unless, of course, the dog is matted. Oh, it's so itchy. No. You feel better now that I shaved that out? Dead. One thing is for certain, Muggsy is a very good boy. So I'm just splitting these mats back here with my scissors in the hopes that it'll be easier to brush out. Normally I would use the mat splitter for this, but these mats are so dense and clumped together that I think using my scissors will be easier. I'm still not convinced that this is a savable coat. I feel like I'm going to end up shaving him, but we always try first before we resort to shaving, right? So we're gonna try and if I can't do it, well, at least we can say we tried. Most of the time, I opt to groom extra large breed dogs on the floor, especially when they have noticeable hip and joint issues. This is because a simple slip on the table could result in a torn ligament, which is an injury Muggsy is familiar with. Although using important equipment, such as a belly band, can help to prevent slips on the table. For the most part, I know they have difficulty standing, so I try to do the majority of the work on the floor until my back tells me that it's time to quit. One would assume a groomer's first priority is their safety, but for me, my first priority will always be the safety of my clients. I know I love my dogs as if they were my children, and I would expect any pet professional they encounter to treat them the same way. So your pets will never experience anything less than the utmost care and consideration when I'm working on them. Maybe my safety should be my first priority, but I would never forgive myself if I let something serious happen to someone's pet. He seems fed up with me. I am currently going through Muggsy's mats with my dematter, slicker brush, and metal comb. This is a tedious and lengthy process 
and it can only be completed if the dog is tolerant of it. Okay, okay, okay. I guess we are shaving you because if you're not going to tolerate the brushing, which I don't blame you, I'm not gonna keep putting you through that. So let's say goodbye to your coat. This is so depressing, but I can only brush out a dog if they let me. And if they're upset and they're gonna respond in an aggressive way, especially a dog like this that does not have an aggressive bone in his body, then unfortunately the most humane thing I can do is shave them because I do not want to put the dog through unnecessary pain. Some dogs will let you brush them out and they won't have a reaction to it. It doesn't mean that it doesn't hurt, but they're just very tolerant of it. And in this case, Muggsy is not going to let me do that. And not only that, but if it was just one area, I might be able to make it work, but it's the dog's entire body. He's just matted everywhere. Another one. Oh, buddy. Okay, in order for me to shave your front legs, you're going to have to stand up. You're being a good boy. You're gonna feel so good after this. Don't lay down, nope, nope, no laying down. Today's groom is powered by Starbucks. In order to finish Muggsy's groom, I had to put him on the table because I was unable to groom his legs or paws properly with the way that he was laying down. And I also physically could not manage bending over any longer. Fortunately, the finished cut was very quick and I was able to use my belly band to keep him secure. After informing the owners that I would have no choice but to shave him, they asked that I keep his fluffy head, so he still has his signature Newfie look. I sprayed him down in Spring Meadows cologne, and his before and after make him look like a totally different dog. Despite being sad that I had no choice but to shave him, I think he turned out quite adorable, and I do believe his owners will have a much easier time keeping up with his coat. Remember, his coat isn't typical of the Newfoundland, and I do believe it is a lot more difficult to keep Matt free. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the memorable Muggsy.